Mercedes say that they're all in on EVs. They say that by 2030, they'll be electric only, but that doesn't account for their commercial vehicles. Now, unbeknownst to many, Mercedes have been working on a hybrid. Hybrid vehicles using diesel and hydrogen in internal combustion engines at or more or less the same time. This is quite interesting, but it's a concept that I think is inferior to the future, which really is unlikely to include either hydrogen or diesel. Mercedes is currently working on a hybrid. It's a hybrid between two technologies that you probably haven't yet heard about. I'm intrigued to know what you think about this. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans. Thank you for your support this year. It's been, it's been incredible, to be honest, and I'm just amazed by how many people there are on the planet that are the kind of people you think to yourself, you know, if my kids could be around someone, they're the kind of people I'd want them to be around. If my kids could have parents like them, if I wasn't here, they're the kind of parents I would want them to have. So even though I don't know all of you, I, I genuinely feel like the community here, it's people that I respect, people that are intelligent, people that are just positive people. 4,300 people donated to my GoFundMe campaign. I thought there might be like 200, 4,300. Thank you so much for doing that. Some automakers are continuing to experiment with hydrogen fuel cell technology. Toyota, for example, just said yesterday that it is focusing on hydrogen fuel cells. It says that the technology in both internal combustion engine hydrogen cars plus hydrogen fuel cell cars will become much cheaper over the next few years because it expects that many, many thousands of people will buy Toyota's hydrogen powered cars, therefore enabling Toyota to start decreasing the price. Now, currently they're very, very expensive about twice the price of an EV. So I'm not really convinced that that will happen. However, a lot of people do believe that in trucking, hydrogen is the future. Now I used to think that too. I don't anymore because of the, I don't know, four to 500 articles that I've read on the topic. But anyway, some automakers are still convinced that it is the future. And they believe that hydrogen propulsion solves some of the issues that, for example, EVs, have. Some automakers disagree and they say that fully electric is the only choice and it's the best logical choice. One of the last few times we've seen hydrogen as a fuel cell source for internal combustion engines was in the BMW 750HL, which used a 5.4 litre V12 that could run gasoline or hydrogen fuel. Now Toyota currently have hydrogen engines. They've worked on them with Yamaha, they have had a few explode because they run at extremely high pressure. Kind of think about when you watch Fast and the Furious and they press the, the, the gas button for the NOS, nitrous oxide, forcing massive amounts of oxygen into the engine and making it get really, really hot. That's what can happen in a hydrogen internal combustion engine. Now that BMW 750HL produced 204 horsepower but it did offer a zero emission travel experience, say the company, paving the way for experiments with the next gen E65 7 series. This technology has not disappeared from the scene entirely. Even as automakers have increasingly turned to battery electric drivetrains, many are trying to do something that you probably haven't heard about before because I hadn't either. Well. I sort of had, but not really. I wasn't really convinced that much money was going into it, but it turns out I was wrong. This month, Mercedes-Benz unveiled a Unimog prototype. People love the Unimog. It's been on sale for decades with a hydrogen-powered combustion engine as part of a publicly funded WAVE project organized by Germany's Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. The goal of the project is to discover if the task of a diesel engine working as a multi-power distributor could be performed by a hydrogen-powered combustion engine, as Unimogs use their engines to power their attachments. Now, I personally think the solution here is just to go electric. But anyhow, Germany, of course, is a bit concerned about the coming invasion of millions of Chinese affordable, cheap electric cars. So they, they've been looking at synthetic fuels and hydrogen as an alternative to that happening. The Unimog prototype uses a hydrogen combustion engine from specialist 
key you and injectors from Horberger. The system requires a separate tank for the hydrogen, though it's much smaller than the main diesel fuel tank. Mercedes-Benz Special Trucks completed testing of the hydrogen combustion engine on a test stand a few months ago in the fall of 2022 and installed it on the Unimog body by turn of the year, carrying out testing on the road in recent months. So is it good? Well, Mercedes plans to test Unimog with a lawn mowing attachment later in 2023. So why is Mercedes looking at hydrogen combustion at a time when heavy municipal vehicles are going electric, which I think is a much better solution. I'm going to say it again. This is because the implement carrier places high demands on output performance and payload, says Mercedes, referring to the equipment that can be fitted to the Unimog 4x4s. However, as space is limited, the installation of a purely battery electric drive on hydrogen-based fuel cells would be challenging. And speaking of challenging, Mercedes-Benz did make this official comment. This was their trucking division. They said, Tesla's electric semi-truck defies the laws of physics. I made a video about that. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Of course, cost is one of the considerations here as well. Though I suspect that a hydrogen engine isn't exactly a cheap alternative to a purely diesel Unimog. But given the cost of batteries, as well as the state of battery energy storage technology at the moment, maybe Mercedes believes that an electric Unimog just wouldn't make sense. Personally, considering the fact that there are actually other vehicles similar to this, made by other manufacturers which are fully electric, I think it would. The concept also doesn't bypass other costs, namely the cost and availability of hydrogen. In the past two years, a number of European truck makers have collaborated on building a hydrogen corridor to be used by long distance fuel cell trucks, aiming to connect port cities to manufacturing centers. And it's this building effort that has re-energized interest in hydrogen as a fuel source for municipal vehicles, such as recycling trucks and other machinery. With our Unimog, said Mercedes, which can be used all year round, we have been highlighting the diversity of the implement carrier for decades in fields of application, such as green area maintenance, horticulture, and landscaping or winter service, among other things. The only question I have though is where would these people who buy these vehicles get the hydrogen from? There's very few hydrogen fueling stations. And if you don't live near one of them, then you're in a bit of trouble. Still, this is niche technology that it's gonna see big pressure from electric vehicle powertrains in the future, and possibly even from hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in the coming years. Now, what I'm curious about is, can this work if you only put diesel in it, or do you have to run it as a hybrid with both diesel and hydrogen at the same time? Now, let me know your thoughts. Do you think a hybrid diesel hydrogen powered internal combustion engine vehicle makes sense, or is this just over complexity? and that we should wait for EV versions of the Unimog. I actually love the Unimog. I've always had a, a bit of a soft spot for this truck and people seem to love them as well. They have incredibly high resale value, some of the highest of any vehicles I've ever seen. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.